This is the first question for the 2014 WIAC Mathematics Theory Questions. And for the first question here, this one is, it says, without using tables or calculators, simplify this expression, this expression, leaving the answer in standard form or scientific notation. Now, when we say scientific notation, what we mean is leave your answer in something that looks like A times 10 raised to power N. Okay, your final answer should be in this form where A represents any number that is greater greater or equal to 1 or a is a number which is less than 10 so your values the values of your a the a here should be between 1 and 10 okay and also n n should be any positive or negative whole number you see what we mean when we solve this question so let's let's bring this out so here we have to bring out this expression let's say 1 a 0.6 times 32 times 0.004 all over 1.2 times 0.008 times 0.16 so what we'll do here is we'll try to bring out all numbers from each of these numbers in decimal form okay so for example for 0.6 to get um, a whole number out of 0 point that's to get 6 out of this we'll just move this decimal point one step forward we have 1 so we have we have here 6 times 10 raised to the power minus 1 because we moved one step forward now for 32 we already have a whole number 32 so we just write 32 now for this one here for 0 0.004 just move 1 2 3 times to have 4 times 10 raised power minus 3 so we have the whole number 4 from here now so for the next one here we have 1.2 to get 12 out of this we just move the decimal point forward once so you have 12 times 10 raised power minus 1 times now for this one move 1 2 3 times so you have 8 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 times for this one move 1 2 times so you have 16 times 10 raised to the power minus 2 10 raised to the power minus 2 here so to simplify this we could just we could just write this as 6 goes here 1, 6 goes here 2, 8 here 1, 8 in 32 will give us, will give us 4, okay? Now 4 and 4, that's 16, we'll cancel 16 here to give us 1. Then also we could say 10 raised to power minus 1, we'll cancel 10 raised to power minus 1, 10 raised to power minus 3, we'll cancel 10 raised to power minus 3. So on the numerator, we have just 1 left, 1 all over 2 here, 2 times... 10 raised to the power minus 1, we have 10 raised to the power, no, not minus 1, 10 raised to the power minus 2, that's 10 raised to the power minus 2 there. So we can't just leave our final answer like this, we can't just say, oh, we've gotten our final answer. We need to further simplify this one. So what we'll do here is we'll just say 1 over 2, we can split this to 1 over 2 times 1 all over 10 raised to the power minus 2. We'll go on to say 1 over 2 is still the same thing as 0 0.5 you know if you say 1 over 2 this is 0 okay 0 2 in 10 5 so you have you have um, 0 0.5 you, you remember we are asked not to use calculator okay we are asked not to use tables or calculator so you have to simplify down like this so you have times 1 over 10 raised to the power minus 2 can also be 10 raised to the power minus into bracket minus 2 I know you are like how did you get this? I don't think I go with this. Okay, but let me explain. You remember the law of indices? The law of indices. When you have something like one all over a raised to the power c, this could also be a raised to the power minus c. Okay. When you have something like this and you reduce it to this, you just have a negative, um, a negative sign here on the power c like this. Okay. So the same thing applied here. When we remove the one here, a negative sign came in. That's this one. Okay. So let me remove this. Let me remove this. Okay. So that is that. Most times when you sit for the WIAC exam, it's very, very important you explain what you are doing aside like this. Okay. So here we have 0 0.5 times, this would be minus times minus. This bracket is just like saying minus times minus, which you give us, which you give us plus. So you have 10 raised to power 2. But we can't leave our final answer like this. You know we said our final answer, that leaving the answer in standard form should be like a times 10 raised to power n. Okay? Where a is a number greater or equal to 1 or less than 10. 
or less than 10 and we know 0 0.5 is is less than 1 so to get this what would you just move this decimal point one step forward so we'll have 5 times 10 raised power minus 1 times 10 raised power 2 so what we need to do here is to bring is to bring 10 raised power minus 1 and 10 raised power 2 together and we'll have 5 times 10 raised power minus 1 because we are multiplying these two we can now write plus 2 now I, I know you have questions here but let me answer your question let me answer your question what, you, what we did here was we just used the law of um, indices also which says if you have a raised power if you have a raised power minus minus um, b times a raised power um, let's say C for example, okay, when you have the same base and powers on it like this, what you do is because we have the same base, just take one of the base, raise the power minus B, because we are multiplying, you see, plus, then the power here, which is C. Now, if you have minus C here, you still put plus into bracket minus C, okay, so this is, that is that. So, from here, from here, we'll just say, 5 times 10 raised to the power minus 1 plus 2 is, is 1. So this is our final answer for the first question.